open mind to that. You got to print out of what all of them you have on your list. I can show you my iPad. I know I noticed everybody was taking notes, but um, so with those expenditures that you're talking about versus what our balance looks like. Thank you. 
from the roof. The roof that we budgeted for it. Uh, yeah. So it's those types of things that Bill had identified. So the uh, road reconstruction project that Ms. Gale talked about. Uh, we don't know until the bids come in uh, what's going to happen with uh, the suspended sidewalk uh, and the utilities themselves. I fully expect that the uh, money is for the suspended sidewalk. Probably going to go up. Uh, we've seen expenses go up everywhere. And the city has cautioned us that when it comes to metal, uh, those costs are going up. We've already talked with you about the additional expenses for the uh, tree lines. And the bridge is all metal. So I expect those costs are going to go up also. The council will uh, have a decision to make. Zocker made it clear the 
yes, the DOT understood prices were higher. He said if the prices go over, the DOT will not sink the city financially. They will help us find a way to pay for it. He made that clear. Um, but not, probably not give me money, but there will be an option that we can make it affordable for the city and not sink us. They've done it for other cities. This is the biggest project they have planned for this year. So they know it's going to be a big project. He gave us other avenues where we could see some cost savings if it came down to it. We'll make that decision probably mid-October once the numbers come in. So. See, for me, we've got that big project on the beach. We've got a big project up by the school, which we've got a grant. We have to pay 20%. And we need to Yeah. We've got in front of the plunge one but concrete. We don't have the money for all those right up front. We gotta cut and stuff and, and if we wanna do that and everybody agrees, front of the plunge is, is dangerous because of the trucks are. And I don't know, I, just, I, I I like what Bill's saying, but you know, once we go through the budget there's a lot more in there that might get cut.
SDPAA, this facility or department was significantly impacted by the evaluation that we talked about on Tuesday night. Professional services and fees include things like more chemical, true green, eco lab, ALSCO, and spot wranglers for their uh, perfect cleaning, 5,000. Publishing 2,000, that includes some advertising, the South Dakota Magazine, uh, Facebook, Evergreen Media, they advertise for weddings. Rentals is 300. We have notes, a scissor lift is needed for changing lights, that's about $89 per day. Uh, we have highlighted building repairs of 40,000 to inspect and edges, theater roof 4,000, steel roofing west side front 25,000, gym floor strip and seal 5,000, black ceiling tiles in the theater 6,000. We'll stop and kind of discuss that. I think John has some notes and John might have some notes. Yeah, on the roof, we, we took out the theater roof and the gym roof for this year. We've done the inspection this year, made some minor repairs up there to get roof safely through the winter without leaks. Uh, we look, we're going to do the same thing again with the spring. Those big ticket items for those roofs, though, and that's, that's going to be a big chunk of money, and we want to save that for 20. 23, once everything's done with this geothermal system, you know we're not going to be leaking with the roof we got, but it will have to replace it within two years. But getting those that front roof out there looking decent without the big paint falling off of it has been a has been a point of contention for a while. There's nothing wrong with the metal. It's just the idea of painting it wasn't great. Can we strip it? Just leave it. Just strip it if you bare metal and it probably started to rust. Oh. Yeah. Hey, That's the 20 ride, right? Yeah. And then the gym floor strip and seal and the black ceiling tiles in the theater? Yeah. You know, the, the gym floor, um, the minimal maintenance that we've been able to do ourselves over the past um, few years, it's, it's really starting to um, not fail, but it, it's getting to a point where it, it has to be done. Um, I had brought it up a couple of years ago and we had put it off for a few years strip it would take it would almost bring the tiles back to what they were when they started they would be a white and they would get several coats of wax on it and it would extend the life of the tiles I'm guessing another four to five years if we were on a, a regular maintenance schedule with a company like that we could get probably another six or seven out of them. unfortunately when they redid the floor Oh, in the mid '90s, when they uh, when they fixed a water break with an HVAC issue, then um, it, it just some of the tiles. I mean, buildings settle, things happen. We're getting some separation in the tiles. A lot of the tiles that are around the outside of the gym are starting to fail and come up, and that would be in the process. Is that I would replace some of those tiles before they sealed and, and recoded it. I did bring up, I think it was two years ago, Misty and Kim and I talked about doing a stained concrete floor. Uh, I would still like to have that on the wish list for the future, but we're looking at upwards of thirty to $40,000 to have it pulled, skin coated, and uh, painted. The gym or the, the ceiling tiles in the theater, it just it's time. I mean they we fixed a lot of the leaks that are in the, in the um, theater so we don't have an issue with them, but a lot of them I mean they're just they're stained, they they just look pretty bad. Uh, I've done uh, my wife and I go to a lot of venues and a lot of other places like this 
and I've, I've kept my eye open on a lot of them, and a lot of them I see black, and black is just, it's a very nice look, gives it that open ceiling look, and I think it, it it's just time. If you're all agreed. And we're using up all of our 70,000 um, for this year, that's what's good, right? I mean, we have stuff planned for that. None of this is stuff we can do with the money we have budgeted this year. You could probably get the saline tiles this year. We might be able to. I'm trying to, <clears throat> I'm trying to keep it as minimal as I can. We did, thankfully, we were able to get the skylight replaced this year. Uh, I just, this HVAC issue is, um, every time I turn a corner, it kicks me in a different direction. I, I'm really beyond my point of frustration, but it's, the facility is 40 years old. Things fail, and, and I'm hoping that we can come in way under that number. Yeah. Doing everything I can. Things fail. Yeah, well now we have a, the, they ran all the HVAC lines underneath the concrete built the facility, all the water lines. And in the 90s, when they had a break in the gym, they ran the gym units, the water lines, outside so we could get to them easy. Well, they didn't do that over on the north side of the facility, and right now the water line that goes to the conference room unit, I'm hoping that it's just the condensation pump wore out for the HVAC, but I think that the building is settled and the pipe has come apart underneath the concrete because I'm getting water through the wall. And so I shut it down and I'm hoping that it dries up and it will be a simple fix, but it just, this past year has proved otherwise, unfortunately. That's your white stains in the room. Yeah. Yeah. To answer your question, is if we can absorb 6,000, either pull the gym floor or the theater around, <coughs> budget without any issue. I don't think we supplement it. We supplemented a lot of the cost of the repairs. Even if I were to, at the end of the year, if I was able to just pre-order all of the ceiling tiles and store them somewhere so it would come out of this year's, we could certainly try for that. Has that room changed anything since the Between the building repairs and maintenance and equipment repairs and maintenance, you spent about 30000 year to date out of 75000 so maybe one or both of those. Sorry. I think the, I think the, look, I'm looking at the G numbers right here. <coughs> Take out the gym floor, strip and seal and black ceiling tiles, yep. and try to get them done this year. Chris, is that possible with the vents and things that you have? To, is it reasonably possible to get the gym floor done this year? If so, I have the schedule. The girls come in beginning of November again. Uh, if I were to get with the few companies now and get on their schedule, I could probably have it done by then. Is that? I've actually uh, 
accepted a bid with Labar Construction. It's every year it gets worse. With I tried did some after speaking with Craig and Wes a few years ago, I, I diverted one of the drains back there, but it, it just the cracks are there and it had gotten under there so much that we're going to do about 80% of it here um, in the fall and then the rest of it will just be left over. Oh, so that's what you're going to do this year so we don't need to budget for it in 2022? No, there will be more to do. I, I only have, I only had so much budgeted this year and it, there's more that needs to be done. So you do have evidence of settling on the building just yeah, so. yeah, yeah, and I've started to see some of the seams and the walls and the dividing walls uh, starting to crack the mortar joints. So 6,000 is your 20% estimate for next year? Yes. Well, it, that's in with the, the chip ceiling. I think we can do it for, I'm hoping around three to finish, three or four. Sorry, this isn't working here. <laughs> we can't see, but we have the crack seal and black coat at 18000 in addition to the six. And then restriping to the You know, after, after taking the quote out, or working with some of the contractors, I mean, granted, Lavar usually comes in a little bit cheaper than some of the other people, but I'm doing. about 40 square feet with the 5,000 this year and there will be about 30 square feet left for next year. So will we get to leave that one and move on? If you had to pull something from that in for the negotiations, if we put off that front parking lot again to do it the next year, it's going to be about 25 to do it because it's failing out there now. now it is. Yeah, it is. I agree. Yeah. I so we're leaving it. Nobody's asked to take it off, right? I wouldn't leave it because if you go any further, if you go any further out than just here, you're going to be replacing pretty much two thirds of that whole. I will say that I did have money last year in my budget to crack seal out front, but when the HVAC issue happened, I mean we were just hemorrhaging money left and right, and I I saved what was from that just to put back into the budget to try and save a little bit of money. All right, so I moved on. I didn't get anything out of that. Everybody okay with that? Supplies, 800. Sometimes I don't think you ask for enough for supplies, Chris. Is that enough? In 2020, you spent 1100 You know, and I, and I think maybe that would be better a conversation for you and I to sit down and, and have a clear idea of what comes out of that budget and what doesn't. Because I, I sometimes I feel like I I don't so think things will come. Description and you can whatever you really want. <laughs> okay. Well, and I just I put things in and Karen says, "Do you think it'd be better here?" And, and it's yeah, so, you do budget more janitorial supplies, and that's my I don't between the two where you decide to put it. I just want to make sure you have enough. Okay. So you think 800 is I think enough? So. Okay. I With think your so. janitorial supplies, we have 4,000. Uh, minor tools, 1,300. That's another one where sometimes I'm not sure you ask for enough. You're at 78 percent year to date. And you have to use a lot of stuff around here. I do, but I just I try to keep it under. There are a lot of things that. I've updated in the past, like a new lighter saw and some things like that that I have that will last me for quite some time. I'm uh, trying to be as frugal as I can. Agricultural supplies, that includes grass heat and some light irrigation supplies, 200. Gas, oil, and diesel, that's mostly for his mowers, yep. um, 150. There is a note but nothing budgeted for a new electronic event sign for the building. Um, that, I guess that's a reminder note that 2023, that's something I'm looking to do. Yeah. The utilities for the Mueller Center are paid from the 211 fund. Remember, on Tuesday when we went through each fund, and what it's established for that 20% leftover goes to pay for utilities in the Mueller Center. So 
so that includes their telephone, their internet, their electricity. Uh, we build the water and sewer just like we do in the other departments where uh, it's the cost is offset by a, a transfer in from the fund that was receiving the payment. An improvement other than buildings, we have 3,000. That includes tables, concrete bench over time capsule. I didn't know there's time capsule. The front of the building and a 70 inch flat screen TV for the annex to replace the projectors. You haven't used any of that in this budget yet. You have 1,500 and you have a year to date you haven't spent it. I don't have it in front of me. I can't. I don't know what I have budgeted for um, this and year. I think I have some notes from last year, uh, but I'm not sure if I can access yeah, our share drive to find it. Because you did have something specific that was for some people. But I don't have the money. You could basically get your tables and chairs this year. I could. I could. I didn't see chairs on there. Tables. Tables. Somebody uh, wants new chairs. Uh, storage container. That's what Remember it was. Remember the whole storage container uh, thing? Yep. That is. That's what, that that's what we said. It's, for the most part, right now, it's completely falling apart. Oh. Question? What about your oven? Is there anything else on it? You got enough money for it? Nope. This year, you can use that with Right yeah. now is the time to do it. Yeah. What, uh, no, you remember right. what she came in at? <laughs> that oven was like four or five thousand, wasn't it? Yeah, right at six thousand. <clears throat> you might be able to get one cheaper now. You're worth looking into. Yeah. Okay. Certainly look into it. Okay. Just like uh, absolutely. <coughs> the, 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 the concrete bench, if we need to cut, if we need to cut somewhere, I'm not opposed to putting that off for a year. And I'm looking at twelve to fifteen hundred where the time capsule is is where the wooden bench sits out at the front of the facility. There's a, a oh, square yes. concrete oh, pad. Okay. Yeah. So years ago when they built the facility, the my understanding, what I've been told, is that the bell that's down at the fire hall, that was supposed to go here with a large brick uh, piece that it would sit on and there is a time capsule underneath there. I have just put benches over it the past few years just to make it look nice and it's that bench needs to go. I mean it's just it's gray and rotten and if I have to take it out and it's a concrete square for a year, it'll be okay. That big piece of sand's done with them. Fair enough. Or I don't Twelve or fifteen. I would really like to keep the seventy inch if we could. That I've looked at Target, Best Buy, and some places. I can, I can get a, a large TV. They've come down so much in price for five to six hundred dollars. And then how much would you need for tables? Uh, fifteen. I get a. Fifteen this year. I can get tables with it. I can get updated tables. You know, I had a discussion with John and, and about the airport when they do. I mean, the airport's been doing more and more fly-ins every year, and the guys come down and they get tables and chairs from me to take them out there. And, I mean, every time they travel, they get beat up, and I would be more than happy to give a section of old tables to the airport so they have some. So they just have their own, and they would stay nice. So if you buy tables this year, if you're 1500, you won't need 15 next year. You need more tables next year too. I I could probably get by without them next year. Some of my banquet some of my banquet tab tables are coming up on me. That is, we have six on here. Was the estimate you gave me or John when we were doing this? Do you want to change that to eight? For the TV? Yeah, that's what I was going to pay for. If anything, seven. Oh, the 15 minutes. Yeah, it's a good one. 
That's including a hanger and everything. I can get a hanger for between 30 to 40, 40 bucks. Yeah, yeah, I can get them down an ace for a pretty minimal cost. Okay, so I changed it to 1500 and I'm taking out the tables. Um, well, I'll just leave those notes in there. What you do with it, the TV's in there, what you do with it, you have enough and you do a concrete bench. Okay. No, no, the TV is for, mainly is it actually be, it gonna be for us to use, use when we're having meetings here, or is that something that is being requested from you it's for meetings? Other? Out, outside. Both. Both. Um, I I made the decision this year to take one of the smaller TVs off of the wall in the lobby and hang it on the wall in the conference room. Um, and it's been it's just been a huge benefit. I've I've had um, especially the chamber and, and even some smaller groups that instead of having to hook up a projector, they have that this, HDMI. This particular one that we're having trouble. Yes. Yes. I, yeah, we used it for our lecture school, the TV in there. It was small. This one will be bigger. Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking 70 inch because they can hook their HDMI right to it into the laptop and it's right there on the wall. Why is it that all that cost means uh, council is going to be, in my mind, the primary reason? Why does the whole cost have to come out of the For the TV, it's $800. He said it was $800. It's not a big cost. This is a fine tech no. store. It's located at this facility. Users will be anyone. Yeah. Honestly, Dave, there will be there will be quite a few people that use it other than yourselves. I've seen advertising people coming here put their presentations on what they need it as well. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a it'll be a, a fairly we were, inexpensive. We were talking like three hundred dollars and five hundred dollars on, on different things. If you split the cost with it's all general fund. Yeah, I know. I'm just, if we're going to be pitching pennies, then this pitch pennies all the way across the board. Okay. Same penny. Let me put it here or there. So I think this, it, it'll be That's fine. I, I think we'll have to do the whole thing. I'm just trying to get my mind to make sure that this is being done for council or if it's being done for the facility. Whole facility. Okay. Until the start of Have Carl go grab ten, so when you take a break, you guys can have cushy chairs. Really? Yeah. I think that honestly, for you guys, if, if that's something we want to, you can take out of a council budget. Chairs are about one hundred and twenty dollars, one hundred thirty dollars a piece. If we want to buy some better chairs that are dedicated just to council, we can certainly do it. Especially for you. Machinery. So I changed that to fifteen hundred. Stay in the Mueller Center and he can get the TV. Machinery and equipment is $1,300. He has a bolt from Black Hills Technology, which is our um, IT folks for one indoor and two outdoor security cameras. I question if this will require a cell phone to monitor because we just approved a new cell phone for an employee for that very reason. So, uh, great idea to have security cameras. This is as much for it if we're going to require them to have a cell phone to monitor those security cameras that they need to go back and add. Cell phone expenses to so, to save you some money, I use my cell phone for it and I don't have an issue with it. So, if you use your personal cell phone for city use, we had just talked about everyone who does that getting the $25 grant for cell phone charging. So, again, that's another thing we have to think about. Um, so, I'm going to 
require someone to monitor these side that more later, but then we'd have to put either the reimbursement or the cost of the city provided cell phone in the study. But it would come out of the 211 um, if it's for him, if he's the Mueller Center employee, I don't think that's utilities at the Mueller Center. Was it 25 per month? It, yep, so $300 a year. Now, honestly, I, that is, it's so easy for me to have that app to be able to pull up and look at the cameras. And for people to call me on, I don't need my own city cell phone. It's not that if big. We probably outside the budget, but I will leave it in, I'll put it in there, but that's something to consider. So, uh, everybody okay with the 1300 for the cameras? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're good. You know, the conversation we need to, to have outside of here is that uh, if we allow you to use your own cell phone, we reimburse you for it. And if we need to, for some reason, you know, look at your text messages or your email because they may be linked to something that's going on within the city, uh, then we have to do that. Sure. To recognize that. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So your expectation of privacy could be mm -hmm. different. Yeah. But he can refuse the reimbursement if he doesn't want that. So we already have a projected estimate for next year of a step increase and a 30 cent cola. So what he makes plus those two things, then figure out the different times that by 2080 and that's We're anxious to move on from here. I don't know if you should ask about the equation increase. You're going to see uh, a number of these others that there are individual requests for the department. And you need to consider that the budget time is probably the right time to allow the department to expand the request. But a number of years ago, we started chasing our tails doing exactly this. We employee identified that they weren't making enough to help pay raise, or we felt that, like we might be losing employees because they weren't making enough. Recognize that if we continue doing that and throughout the year, that's what we're going to be doing. Is employee A asks for a pay raise and they get it. Employee B is going to say, Well, heck, if they ask for it and they got it, why shouldn't I ask for it? And that's the reason we decided to go ahead and uh, hire the Western group, look at all the job descriptions, and give us a sense of what the, uh, the salary should be. But just recognize that. Do this. There are other employees uh, who can rightly say, well, if I know that all I have to do is ask for a favor in some budget time, I would have done that. So has the Weston group come up with their answers yet, or are we waiting for that? Well, we did it in 2019. Oh. December, November, December 2019 is when we got the report from them. And 99.5% of all of our employees fell within market range. We didn't take all of their advice, but. The goal of that study is to make sure we're paying people appropriately in the end.
have a problem with the police department not making them as much as the county that is going to the county. So the city raised it to where it's higher than the county. And then the county raises over. So the city did it again. And, you know, it, it's not fair to all the employees. And, and I agree with Bob, you know, that, that's something that is a set thing. If, if we give one person a raise, I think everybody out here every city employee. You have a process for two raises for employees every year, regardless of performance. Or Looking back at right Bob, you know, it isn't fair like Caitlin gets a dollar more than I do. That ain't fair. She asked. I should get a dollar too. So I, I, I see what Bob's coming to. I'm not going to argue against yeah, figuring out what is the right amount to pay. But I'm cautious. We didn't so, pay so for that expensive. study too, so we should pay attention to it. But we do, what, what we talked about in the office is we need to consider how often we need to do that. And now that we've established this relationship with the Western Group and they understand it might not be as difficult or as lengthy next time. So is that three years? Is that five years? How often is that? We can't count on that wage study at the end of 2019 in 2025. But that, that's a discussion for another time, but we have discussed that. I'm not quite um, sure if they're in line with 2022. That's the other question that we've been kicking around. At this point, we, we all recognize that uh, employees part time or otherwise are made to say is they can go work for that starting wage of $15 an hour or whatever else it may be. So even having the Western group do it, are they now looking at not only the skills that justify a particular hourly wage, but the market itself, and how that contributes to what the starting itself is for a particular skill set should be. And that's an important question to, to understand. And that's certainly a question we can put out to the rest of the Are they recognizing that? Or they simply look at the skill set and say that's what it should be, independent of what the current market uh, needs to be. The last time they did the market study, that was a big piece of the study that they did. Is they looked at the markets around us, including like three or four states. I can't remember the ones, but that was. Okay, that's correct. It was requested. I've never spoken to a party on board with. Well, 
Well, there's so many different functions. People that have, you know, a higher degree of, of responsibilities, and, and say like Chris, who takes on an entire facility single-handedly, per se. Um, you know, there's, it's just one of those, you need to assess each thing or each position. lifeguards. They aren't just sitting there. They have a special skill set and life-saving requirements that they have to keep updated, you know, and, and maybe those people need a little more wage because of their skill sets rather, you know, so it's just those things that you look at uh, separately because of their special need, their special requirements for that job. Yeah. I think the answer is probably somewhere in between is using something like the Weston Group as, as a guideline helps us because we do not have an HR department to do all of this. I agree. I agree with that. However, are we giving that, have, you know, COVID changed COVID and post-COVID changed the job market. And so September, we're going to see another shift. The, the question I think we need to ask them is, have you factored that into your results that you give back to us? And then also, and we worked real hard when we did this the first time, but are the job descriptions that we're handing them accurate going over job descriptions is about as much fun as getting beat up in the mud and we get each department had the opportunity to review and, and change their job and, descriptions and, and i'm not that. sure i'm not i'm not making any allegations but i'm not sure we've put the effort into it i know they probably look at it but are we are they accurate or i don't think so so we need to, if there are, are, if there's special things like Chris is has some unique things with his job. He's a he's a uh, an individual performer. He does that, the does and that. So if those those types of things need to be listed within the job description, so when we hand it to Weston, they can say, okay. This is hopefully they can say, okay, this is different, and it might yield a higher result. And I say all of that to say, then maybe not now, but at some point in the future, we relook and say, do we need to take another look at salaries and whether that requires a supplemental appropriation or whatever or we're just smarter going into 2023 that we've got a good tool but it's a tool bit sharpened to the point that it's really what we need for uh, this day and age and the circumstances. Well, does that include kind of a Yeah, it does. Being, being new to the group, when you all went and hired the Weston group, was there a position audit done for each and every position as to what their actual duties were? Each department head was responsible for that with the help of the city administrator. So they all got their job descriptions to review, which are in place, okay. to review and edit as they saw fit, and those were the ones that we used. And yes, we did go through each and every one, and all the people under them. So if I were at the plunge and I had the lifeguard and the slide dispatch and the guest service associates, they also went through each one of those. It was it was no small effort. And it was extensive. And we didn't. They want us to cap out. They want you to reach and cap. They wanted us to stretch out our staffs over ten years instead of five. They wanted us to do away with cola. We're very heavy in our benefits. We found out. So most employers, if you're comparing yourself to somebody else and what they pay, don't offer the benefits we do. So the total cost of employing people was also. And I can't remember what they said the industry average was for the compensation benefit 
but we were like 10 percent higher in benefit than the standard average. But we're, we're trying to have a function here. It's been an hour and we're not going to get too much today. I'd like to continue this conversation about what's the right thing if we all agree that something similar to what Bill is saying, something in between is the right thing. I don't think we're going to get it solved tonight. I have to agree that this is the wage thing needs to be done separately than the, the current budget. I think it's a bigger discussion. And we've got to get the, the, the budget in place. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay, libraries is on page 23. Don't hesitate to interrupt me if you have questions, but I'll do it the same way. So, uh, in the library salaries and wages, we have 126.2. Uh, that includes a part time library clerk at 550 hours, a custodian at 320 hours. Um, the custodian is also added in professional services, one or the other should go. Um, we're not sure. John might have an update, but they they have been working on which way they're going to go and have not made up their mind yet. So for now, we have it in both places. Um, the payroll taxes, retirement, workers' compensation, group insurance for the employees, unemployment, SDPAA. They're another of the facilities with the new way to break down the cost of it, the insurance, they saw an increase. Professional services is $24,500. That includes GNR controls. That's an annual maintenance service on their HVAC. Carpet cleaning, um, Black Hills Technology, you can imagine libraries very technology heavy. Uh, night security, meat and feed service, and custodial services. So they have 9600 for custodial services which is what they had in place prior to having an uh, employee from the city doing it. The facility that did the work was Black Hill Special Services and they stopped doing it with COVID. So uh, John had made that in any estimates and decided which direction they're looking at going. Unfortunately, I published a few more job openings this last year than 
um, previous years and then seasonal events. So they have $500. They've never come close to spending that much. Uh, the highest amount being in 2013 at 211. I'm not sure where that number came from. Um, no one's ever complained about it not being enough or wanting to do more. John, do you have any more feedback? Or? It's a few hundred dollars. It's not that much, but it's just more than The reasoning was um, she she wants to get into publishing the library board minutes. Yeah, those are already published by law. And it's about $9 per month. They're small. They don't put much in the minutes. And then she is doing more advertising about events happening at the library in our local library. So she plans to use it for additional advertising. Everybody will get that. Building repairs, this is a big one. Uh, we have $53,400 in there right now. The projects include seals around windows. These are all estimates right now, but about 8,000. Log repairs and changing inside, 15,000. East gutter replacement, 5,000. Begin back patio, re-landscape design, 20,000. And then AC repairs, which is the professional services before that we took out, that's 5400 And I thought they were getting that fixed. We have no choice. We're getting it there now. So we can take the 54 right off. We're going to have to do it this year. We have to see it now. Free landscape. What are the purposes of that? We have water standing in those three planters on the back that have never been used. And we've got mold coming in now into the building. We need to get those planters removed, get that drainage away from that wall. Because it's just holding all that water against oh, the wall. I, I don't understand. We had this conversation last time. Yeah, it needs to be done right away. You're going to have to sit building and you don't need that. Yeah, right away. You're yeah. going to have you're going to have the same problems that Chris has had here or vice versa. Which are the so we have, that's a must do. It's a structural. So some of this 53,000, is that? 48 now. 48, is that part of what you was going to? Yes. Yeah. It was 20,000 she had to go through the last year. Well, when I just added everything up in there, that's what I came up with. So let me go 8,000. Would it be even considered possible to get 48? If you add all those together. Yes. Together. 48, 48, 48, 48, 48 even? Would it be possible to coincide both those jobs, like this one he has in the back over here? It's not replacing concrete, it's removing all that's back there now, without destroying the nice concrete that's back there now at the, at the library. It's get, get all that stuff off and reseal that wall and fix the drainage. It's not staining. I think that's a good, reasonable estimate. It's a pinch. Last time I looked at the library in the back, and it's been there. So you, so you know, it, uh, all of us know, it's been there for probably 15 years. And it's pitched backward and up on one side. And they came back later, back then, and said it was because of compaction. Got two estimates now, so we're that's there is good. no warranty. That's, that's, that's that that building warranty is running gone, right? That's a 16 year old building. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> <laughs> we have I'm not, I'm not going there. So, what's okay. our final number? 48. 48, and it, uh, I, it wasn't 20 that we took off, it was 5400. So the AC repair this right. year. So, 48. So Everyone okay with all the other costs there? Yep. Equipment repairs, twelve hundred. Um, that's three hundred dollars extra than the maintenance agreement that they have, but there may be some other repairs that are needed. Street, everybody will pay them. Street walk repairs, fourteen nine. That includes crack sealing the front entry, twenty six hundred, and back patio, twenty eight hundred. Parking lot crack seal and paint lines, 7,000. Paint lights, handrails, benches, and signs, 2,500. What's wrong with that? That's what we've been talking about. It's got the no difference of cracks in it. 
to get those sealed up. That's part of the water issue. So we're going to pour concrete back there? No, it's got a joint seal. Yeah, the Aberdeen trip would be the, the two primary clerks and the, the 
library director in training, who may be able to do the other convention? Uh, telephone, we have 3,500. And just a note there, the library applies <coughs> for uh, participation in an E-rate program that helps offset the cost of internet expenses in low-income communities. Uh, it's variable. The amount we'll get, if we'll get it, and this hopefully new interim library director will continue with the activity of applying for that that the old one did. Electricity, here's a facility affected by the increase in the notice that we received. Propane, 3,500. Computer software, they use a program called Overdrive at $1,600 a year. Bollet at $1,200 a year. Cybrarian at $750 a year. Veronix at $300. Start Logic at $500. And they're adding child protection encryption at $600. And it's called Sonic Wall uh, Black Hills Technology Quoted in four. Is that the child protection equipment yes. is called Sonic Wall? Sonic Wall is the name of it. Is that why it's increased? Yes. Yeah. It's so that nobody can just find on the other. And then books. And uh, the, the increase to books over last year's budget and amount is 10000 requesting 20,000 books per year. So total budget, 323,925. So is anyone willing to drop that books down to 15? Still be an increase over next year. They still get about $3,700 in grants historically. <coughs> a little nod. Nobody's really drastically nodding their heads. Come on, now some I was referring that readers were leaders and we have a phenomenal library. Do you know way you can Well, you're adding what the request is to double. Yeah, I know. So I you'd still be adding five from last year. You wouldn't be taking anything away. So let's be careful of the words we have a problem with 15, but at the same time, I don't want to be children. Let's be careful with the words we choose because they do have power. And adding 5,000 is not okay. I think that's a good compliment. Yeah. Okay, do you want to leave it at 20? Me? I'm fine with leaving it at 20. But I'd be okay with 15. Yeah. I'm okay with 15. Okay. 200,000 to go. So. 318,925 is our new total, and 15,000, which is an increase of 5,000 over last year, which last year included grant money. So, so what was that total again? I'm sorry. 318,925. Recreation is the next one up. That's on page 20. also has the salaries and wage not calculated. The department had requested 22,000. Oh, that's not an increase. Due to increased programs every year, which require more instruction. Um, 18,000 is the amount calculated in their salaries and wages for the, the uh, department head total we were able to do, but it's hard to estimate salaries and wages for the recreation department since it's so dependent on programs. But you're doing only 4,000 for choice. Yeah, but we've only spent, uh, this year doesn't really get help well. Well, this year they had a good recreation program that ran on a regular. This year was similar to years past, so we had 17,000 in 2019. If you wanted more 2020, which I was, we program, like we did, but we didn't do the paper after the furlough. Um, 13,000 in 2018, 14, uh, as much as 20 in 2016. She's now doing winter time stuff where before she, we just had summer time also. Well, since so we have been, recreation here, it's been, it's been, we wanted 18 or 22. 
we have you here, what did you want? What would work for you? Thank you. So in 2019, um, recreation was changed from summer rec to recreation. At that time, we started open gym, um, went from March through October. And quite honestly, this was brought up to me in February. I was already working on the summer rec program. So you could say three quarters of the year, which there's only me at that time, we went into the year with, yes, let's change this to recreation, but it wasn't a full year, let's prep for it. And it has never been done before. So then we have COVID. Um, and then this year we have, honestly, I didn't know until March for sure if we were going to get to do this. A lot of people were like, I think I'm gonna hold off. Um, and later they're like, I'm definitely gonna do this next year. So I didn't do the normal planning in the normal year because we didn't know for sure if we were going to be able to do all these things. The temperature was really of the public. So that being said, we have not had a full year of quote unquote recreation to see what we can do. We did have open gym again. We're having it now. Um, a group of nine people came to Parks and Rec last week, whatever it was asking for more stuff. Um, we started a music and movement uh, class that had 25 parents and toddlers. Huge success. They wanted again in the winter months, we're working with the schools for collaboration um, to develop that, maybe using a building from them since gymnastics is here. We have an instructor for that. Um, I don't really believe that this has been given a proper opportunity to see where it can go. We're not asking for more money. We're asking for an opportunity to develop this with recreation as what can we do more of the year than just summer rec and offer to adults, which, you know, the adult thing we did start has soared through the roof. So, plus, I know programs are not this is not about making money, but there's been a lot of work into getting a reasonable total of our fees. Um, we are still at least half or more less than fees across the country, including some local. And our general fund went from, it increased by 50% so far this year over 2019. This is taking a lot of work. And, and I still believe there's more that we can do to stay within our budget, but offer more options to the public. John, after your visit, we do you change it from 22 to 18, we share. Um, my thought is, if it takes off, if it's super incredible next year, that blows everybody's mind, then we have that opportunity to put that money back to more, more people that we need to. Because the revenues, and they continue coming in. It's not a money-making department. Its purpose is community, but that money that it's taking in is supporting that program as well. So I think the 18 is reasonable to see what happens. If it really takes off, and if we have to supplement appropriate, we'll know. Uh, this year with the 18, we're at just right at 57% of total budget yield. So less than half, but right over half this year. Uh, I'm hopeful that we have to supplement early appropriator next year because it's going so great. But until we see that, I think the numbers Misty's put together and that I've, that I've touched on as well, I think are, are reasonable. Well, and I've tried to attempt to get, a, you know, even at the point of golf course, it's hard to estimate. It, it, we, but we, know. right now, we're just working off of what we know, Kathy O'Mahony, because it, it's so dependent on who she gets. For, she can have a program and people want to sign up for it, but she can't get an instructor, the program has to cancel. Or she gets an instructor and she wants to run the program, she doesn't get enough participants to make it worth it. So I'm okay either way. I'm okay with that in the 22 back in. Knowing that you're going to have a number you're going to have to get to, I'm okay with not putting it in there. I think we all agree when you voted to let it go year round, you want to see the program grow. Um, we just don't have enough. Yeah, enough of time has passed with a normal year to know what that's going to look like. So I'm okay with the way that. So you 
I'm looking at June. And it, okay. this, so this, the, these big periods are the busiest for recreation. Right. Most of the programs happen in the summer. The things that we're developing through the winter are going to be new. So I think he's looking at June's, and you're looking at more recent because I'm going to do the most recent. The other thing is in 2019 when we offered that winter swim. I mean that was like a fluke. Oh my gosh, let's throw it together and see what happens. We had as much as we do for swim in the summer. I mean people jumped on that like crazy and this year also so you know it does take a lot to organize this and get it get it done um and COVID kind of socked us a little bit in keeping that momentum going so when when i see these figures my my biggest deal is when i see the word trend and then i'm like okay what is trend well 2020 was considered in that excuse me our 2020 numbers aren't up there but they're awful they are up there. and and i you know, I, I kind of, that's a little frustrating to me because I think know. apples and apples. <laughs> yeah. If so. You watch the news, COVID's on the rise again, maybe not here, but you don't know. We don't know. So. That's it. I just don't want to be back here begging okay. if we do blow it out of the water when we haven't had a whole year of seeing where this can go. And now we have all school, new school people to work with. So I'm starting over again building some relationships with them. So, who knows? I'm okay with John's 18 figure that he came up with and uh, supplement if necessary. And we review twice a year. Yeah. We, we've been we've been warned, so it won't be a, what do you mean, Kathy? Where'd <laughs> this come from? So, I, I'm good with the 18 and if we need to, if we get, if we get to supplementally appropriate, if we need to, then we'll get a new order. So can I put that in writing and you guys sign that? Yeah, it's recorded. It's, it's already it's being recorded. Right it is being recorded. Yeah. Okay. This is one cool. hour and twenty-seven minutes into the recording. You want to make a note of that? One hour and twenty-seven. That's thank you. Uh huh. Um, um, fair enough. Right. So all these other numbers, payroll taxes, and your comp unemployment. Don't recommend any professional services. They pay umpires for baseball and the judges. They sell these. Oh, I'm sure they'll go up, but I am, you know, you had mentioned and we haven't done the transfer yet. Right. And I think that it is very fair to go with the extra instructors and coaches because of the higher numbers. Um, but I'm trying to get, you know, the Ross, the jerseys and stuff in first. Okay. So things are going to be increased on that. Yeah. Supplies and materials, 2,000. Um, that's just the supplies for the various activities. Traveling conference. Uh, that pays for the Red Cross annual registration fee. It's not really for the travel or conferences. So cell phones. Uh, this is a new line item uh, for personal cell phone reimbursement. For policy, that's $25 a month. She doesn't have an office or a designated phone number, and it takes, as she said, a lot to organize that. So, uh, and I do my own Wi-Fi reimbursement for personal use of her cell phone. It's being added this year, and then. Uh, she took my old laptop because I had to get her placement and that's not lasted her very long. She needs a new laptop saying Bank doesn't have an office you know, or works remotely and only. And our IT guy gave us an estimate of $850. That would include the laptop and then uh, office. I'm and not and using mine. I know, but they are dedicated for accounts. You can use grant money to buy that. So $850 for a new laptop. $2,800 is a transfer out. This is a, a transfer to our 501 fund, which is our Hospice Capital Improvement Projects Fund. We have an arrangement with the baseball and t-ball folks that they'll donate the time that they're doing the program in exchange for us tying a dollar amount to that and putting it into this fund that's dedicated for the use of improvements for baseball and t-ball. So this is an estimate, 2800 we got a big scoreboard this year. Yeah, they've done the improvements in the fields. They did scoreboards. They're talking about building different fields. So they're a separate group. They get to decide what they want for that. But um, that's what that is. So twenty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-five for recreation with no changes. Um, so why did that go down to twenty-eight hundred? 
because we paid, it, or we're estimated for 24 this year, we paid 23, 22, 24 since inception. It's never been higher than 2,500, so. Because with 16s, we we had four set up. Yeah, we are probably going to add those two. Four was the estimate that we used right. early this year for this one. Right. So that's still $400 more. You know what? You guys gave the leeway. If we need it, we need it. And by the way, this, <laughs> uh -oh, that's all it is already there. That computer, um, I am going to continue using Misty's. The problems that it has, Justin looked at, and I said, you know, can you fix this? And he's like, it's either going to die tomorrow in six months right. or it could last five years. And this is I will continue using so. this. Everything is saved on a flash drive. That's if it goes whack. Because well, I got I bet nothing. By next year, you're going to need it. So I think it's important that it's in there. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not going to just buy one. You've already been <laughs> All right. Solid waste fund is next on our list. I think that's page 35. John's so excited. Uh, professional services and fees, 100% of the collected revenue goes to our service provider. Um, and then there's $4,000 for city garbage and cleanup. $250 for repairs and maintenance. John, I think these notes are from last year, $2,500 to repair perimeter fencing. That's all done. Yeah, okay, so I'll take those out. $500 for supplies and materials. And then machinery and equipment he's ready to talk to you about. That's at $17,500. We need some new shelters. Uh, with all the new residents we have in town and those asking for two garbage cans, we had 50 go out between Christmas and now. And we have 12 left. So I need 200. That's what the, our contractor recommended. He said that should last us about two years. So all goes well. $17,000. Yeah, $87 a piece. That's the cost per unit delivered. So. Two hundred twenty-seven thousand two hundred fifty. If you remember when we went through revenue for the solid waste fund, because now we're outside of the general fund, we are in an enterprise fund. It's accounted for differently than the governmental funds. Uh, you have, even with the purchase of the chokes, you have projected profit of nine hundred fifty dollars. So we can certainly afford them. Uh, I guess that was an easy one. My only other question would be if there is money left. It now in the budget, do we want to get 100 this year and 100 next year? Um, I don't see any amount budgeted this year. It's not. Yeah. We have one more cleanup, right? Yep. Yeah, there wasn't any budget. Sounds good. But if we need it, there is fund balance uh, in that fund that can be used. So we can discuss that at Admin Finance if it's a purpose that needs to be made this year. All right, so I lied. We made a book of that. So cemetery department is page 17. Now we're back in the general fund. So we're back adding and subtracting from that $200,000 number uh, until we talk about the 701 fund. The cemetery is page 17. Yeah, we'll
while increasing professional service requests. Stop me if you have any questions you want to talk about. I think that's higher. Uh, yes, we do because she wants to get her certification now because it's really easy to get. Uh, vehicle repair. Wes has got a question. That that go lady's free, isn't she? She don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we still, still offer that service. Yeah. Uh, vehicle repairs, uh, one thousand. She has an older model Dodge Ram pickup. Building repairs, we have four hundred. Not a lot of buildings at the cemetery, but the main lower building needs a roof panel section replaced. Not all of it. Not floor replacement, just some repairs. We have 400. 500 in equipment repairs, that's the blade belts, pulleys, field filters. Street and sidewalk repair, we have some notes. I think they're from last year. Um, the fixed barrier wall that Bell and DGA for roads, there's no dollar amount requested in there. Those are the same notes from last year. So she'll just come out, John. DGA. It's great, I agree. Uh, sewer water repairs, that's general irrigation repairs and water line repairs at 200. 200 for supplies. She uses supplies in headstone locations. She needs a baby tree chicken wire and grave marking flags. Janitorial supplies, $75. I don't think she spends much of that any year, no, not this year. Um, minor tools, 250. We have a half inch impact drill to change blades and sockets listed on there as a need. 250 for grass seed, 1500 for gas, oil, and diesel. Nothing for signs. Electricity of 740. 7000 in machinery. She's looking to replace two mowers at $3,500 each and get rid of two mowers that have reached the end of their useful life. So total requested for cemetery is seventy four four ninety. The uh, salaries isn't that two dollar an hour raise on that, is it? Nope. Yeah. For the part time person, uh, she does have a part time seasonal already. It was asking for part time year round, and it was not. They do share help, so if she needed somebody, she would. That, that was where she was going with it. She didn't get anybody this year at all. That was a big problem. Everybody's as thin as they are. She didn't. I mean, she only she only used about 40% of her total salary budget right now. But if she had somebody that could be present longer than just that seasonal period, it would help her out. So just that really part she doesn't get to dedicate enough time to this either because she's a little late for maintenance. She's the one playing in the bathroom right now. Well, she's one of more full-time, part-time person. Working the streets Well, they already do share staff. Yeah, I know that. But typically, our seasonal are like high school kids. She wanted a, you know, a little more of a regular person that can stay on and pass the school. The other one we wanted to cover is on page 42. Uh, we have it's kind of tied to the cemetery, but it is outside of the general fund. It's our 701 fund, which is cemetery perpetual care. Like we talked about on Tuesday, uh, there's law established for what we can do with this money and how much we have to have. We have no expenses projected coming from this fund in 2022. What typically happens is if there is a need, the cemetery board would meet and request the council and you would take funds that are available in this account and appropriate money to spend for the request for the repairs that are needed. Any questions? We're going to move on to highways, streets, and roadways or maintenance. That's page 11. We're back within the general fund now.
second or third largest funded department in our general fund. They do a lot of work out of this department. Um, we talked when we were talking about how we estimate wages, how it's difficult to estimate who's going to spend what time where because they're all sharing staff in the overall what we call maintenance department. We have 220000 projected for salaries and wages. Not calculated is a $2 an hour wage increase for entry level maintenance one and part time workers. Uh, requested and not calculated $2 an hour wage increase. The payroll taxes, the retirement, the workman's comp, uh, you'll notice that's quite a bit higher than you see in other departments. Worker's comp risk rates employees based on their job functions and responsibilities. And, uh, this one has high risk, so uh, the premiums show that. Group insurance is 66 5. Um, we did add a new full time employee in 2021, if you remember. We took advantage of the city benefits. That was an addition. And then we had a, an employee who received the 50% of the family benefit that had um, the, the child age out. So they're no longer covered. Unemployment 850 insurance. Uh, this is higher. Uh, this is our South Coast Public Insurance Alliance. Our, covers all their vehicles and um, any liability insurance for this department. Professional services and fees. Uh, this is kind of high. I, when you do the math, it doesn't come up to that much, but they do random drug testing at $80 each. That's part of a SDDOT consortium that we're part of. It's If you have a CDL... It's federal you, law. Yep, it's federal law. And you operate on the roadways, you have to participate in this, and they randomly pick from our pool of CDL licensed employees and do these tests. Um, they do fire extinguisher testing and recharge. We do fire extinguisher all of our equipment, all of our buildings. Uh, they have delivery fees at $15 each when they order parts and aren't running up to wrap it. Um, if they hire for large tree removal or other specialty service, they have a professional services and fees. And then also we added $12,000 for the CWT worker. Uh, that's compensated work therapy program at the VA. It, we love to have them when we can. It's not consistent. Sometimes they go away. Sometimes we get the opportunity to have a great one that turns into an employee. So uh, this is an estimate and that varies. But as you look at their employees, they have fairly consistently for the last three years had someone that works for the city under this program that gets paid out of this budget. How can we only use 3.22%? That we didn't have a CWT employee for a large part of this yep. year. And I, I call them an employee, but they're not. It's contract labor through the VA and that compensated work their program. So we don't control how long they stay if they work out. So it's, it's great when we get a great person. We've got a good one now, and he leaves us in the longest. And hopefully we get another good one. And last good one we had ended up being a full time employee. So yes, we did. We did well work. It's a great program. I'm happy to have it, but it's very cool. Part of the reason why you don't know, keep keep most of the CWT workers is because they're not from the yeah. So they want to go back home after the program. So. The large, the large tree removal on that item uh, did want that out, escalate a little bit because we've got a lot of maintenance to do on these alleys. He doesn't have staff, he wants his tree cutters to be able to cut those limbs back uh, and assist with some of those big trees that we're having issues with now. Uh, that's why you had a little extra one. And we did have uh, two CWT people that we expected to be paid through 2021. So when you look at the budgeted amount, it's high, and that's why they're low on their percentage use. Because we were lucky enough to have two for a while, and that didn't allow us to we have one. We added one full-time employee to that department this year, too. So, would it be moved us to hire a part-time regular person? We did add a part-time person this year also, another season, not year round. But we added a full-time, we added a part-time season, and we have the option for the CWT. We just didn't have any people. Um, rentals, if they have to replace lights in shop, they rent a lift, $500. Wouldn't that be all rentals, like we got a, a motor this year that we rented? Yeah, 
idea. We don't plan to do that. No, we plan for our well, store. <laughs> wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be on a rental? There's a year to date, nothing. Yeah, no, it wasn't under rental. And I can look back and see when we paid that. Uh, and that was part of the street. Was that this year? Early this year? I can look back where we paid that out of, but it could have been professional services and fees or machinery and equipment it may have come out of. I can look back where we were. Actually, that right off the end of 2019. Yeah. Just before the Jennings Bridge construction project started, yeah. so we were trying to get Garden Street taken care of, and the motor went down in the And since we spent eight thousand six hundred forty-four in twenty twenty, it's probably twenty twenty. That's, that's when the money came out. We used it in two thousand nineteen. So, so I'm not involved. Um, vehicle repairs. Remember the notes we went over on Tuesday, and we had that big lump of stuff. <laughs> Uh, they had reviewed for vehicle and equipment repairs. So they have an aging truck fleet. If they'll need it. at least one transmission and one rear end replaced. They have 13.5 for estimates. John, if you have anything to say, Dan, if you don't know, just No, it's just, uh, don't have anything newer than 15 years old if you're driving. You have tires when the tire goes down, it's the type of work that stuff gets cut, messed up. It's just, it's just an aging fleet that requires maintenance. So, the play on the safe, safe side, that's where we got that number from. We had to give up something we did. We up a couple thousand dollars. We'll give up more than that. Are you still on track to buy a new truck this year? In a used truck this year? I No, I thought you guys were talking about buying another dump truck. Uh, not a dump truck Did this year. Dump truck? We got a, we got a dump truck last time. We went through that grant program. Yeah. And we didn't qualify because you have to dispose of the truck, and the general that we wanted to get rid of didn't fit in their time frame of a truck to get rid of to swap out. Everybody okay with thirteen five, or you want to save a couple thousand out there? What are your thoughts? If we end up appropriating, this is what we end up doing almost every year if they have equipment. It's not like we tell them, we don't squeeze them and say you can't fix the equipment. They fix it and we appropriate money. Yep. Uh, building repairs, they need some gutter repair. They have six roof section panels that need repaired and they need a new water heater. Uh, so 3,800 is the estimate there. We get the heater and stuff. We have the HVAC this year that just got it installed, finished it today. So we have the heat and air once again. Don't say anything more about heat and air. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Equipment repair is another big one, like vehicle repair. Uh, there's some if this then that's in here. So uh, that's hydraulic service on the little loader, $15,000. It's a. It, Got four thousand something hours on it now, so it's due for its good overall maintenance, which usually winds up costing us a, a hydraulic pump and wine. So we're not buying a new little loader, so we don't have to maintain one we got for another couple of years. It's the newest piece of heavy equipment we've got. Temporary fix on big loader. Not sure what's temporarily being fixed, but twenty thousand. Other four thousand, or we can deduct twelve point. 5,000 if we get to the bottom of here and we determine we want to buy a new loader. Yeah, that was a, that was a trade-off. So we, we'll put jump. It, we put another band-aid on it, we need all that money, but if we're gonna get the new one, we can put a small band-aid on it. So to continue that conversation, I'm gonna jump, jump down to machinery and equipment and we'll talk about that and then we'll go back up and go through the other. So we can take 12.5, off of the request for equipment repairs and maintenance if we purchase a new like 2022 2021 2022 brand new yeah, not, used, brand not new to us like <laughs> yeah, brand new 2022 big john deere loader we have some options what's put in plugged in temporarily to the budget is the first year of six year payments on a lease to own at approximately 5% interest. These are final numbers based on credit and markets. Um, and that includes a three year warranty. If we were to buy it outright, it'd be $212,000. So we jump that number up, we double it. Uh, if we lease the 
I just noted if we end up leasing it, this expense, I would move it to a principal and interest expense account um, because it would be a lease payment and it wouldn't get purchased, but it'd be the same number. So for now, we're just leaving it in there for conversation. But At the end, we will own it. Um, no there's, no, there's no balloon payment at the end with this setup. We get a full all-inclusive warranty the first three years. The last last three years is not all-inclusive, but it's still a warranty. So, it's from the, so. Yeah. so right now you have both built in there, and we're going to so do one or the other, so that'll help our final number. I think that's our route. Get the lease to own it. Is there a trade value on the old one then? Yeah, you want to try to keep the old one? We'll have to have a backup for snow or something happened. We had to have one for snow or the golf course had to use ours. We got, we got the one that was probably now is the hydraulic dam to open it. So it's one of the bad Yeah, it would be a backup. It wouldn't be a first line piece. Yeah. That's right. I'm all for that. Let's get the new one and take the 12 5 off the maintenance and repair. Talk to Caterpillar. John Deere. We tried out both of them, and the John Deere was what everybody liked and liked better. Had less computer. The same on. size we got, and I don't think we need it. Yes, it's like that. It was down there doing free up, was That's what we tested it out. I have it. <laughs> Thought we'd already bought them. Yeah. We had that comment. <laughs> so we changed equipment repairs to 20. I thought I heard a consensus. That's I, the way to go. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Anyone object? So I changed equipment repairs to 26.5, which is deducting the 12,500. Um, still giving them what looks like an adequate amount. Looking at history to do equipment repairs without any. Um, and then I left in, although on our final budget, I'm going to break that out to a principal and interest expense, the 39.5, expecting our first year of a six year lease to be around that dollar amount. Okay, so I'm going to go back up then and keep going through the other items. Street walk repairs, 15,000. Um, that says just patchwork, so major projects are done in the 212 fund, which we'll talk about including repairs to alleys and unpaved street millings. Anything to say about that, John? That's reasonable and similar to what we It's similar to what we usually yeah. have. Um, it's, it's, it goes more toward patching when we have a, a big issue. We've got to do right away and have call somebody in and, and we have the sidewalk shattered like we did down there. Where are we going to be, are we going to be talking about the Replacement of the steps by the Episcopal Church. Why you done that? And well, 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 is that just a patch job? <laughs> yep, we're talking about future stair repairs, getting <coughs> that in the budget in the 2021. Yeah, partially it parks right now. Oh, you're right, and it parks. I'm sorry. It's not in this one. Three, three, two, one. And parks, you're right. Parks with the stair. <coughs> Onward, where was I? Uh, supplies, we have 7,000. Um, this is an increase over years past, and John can talk about the conversation with the department head about it, but the notes include safety and routine PPE supplies, gloves, glasses, hearing protection, buttons, maintenance items, corrugated pipes, sand, dents, grain, stone, etc. It is quite a bit higher, so John, what was the reason for the question? Each for full-time employees, there's seven of them. 
That's two hundred dollars for clothing and two hundred dollars for food reimbursement or up to two hundred re reimbursement for the amount they spend. Uh, plus one hundred dollars each for part-time employees. We have three of those. Janitorial supplies. We have two thousand. Minor tools. We have forty-eight hundred. Gas, oil, and diesel. We have fifteen thousand. Signs. We have three thousand. Travel and conference, we have Can I stop you right there? Yep. Yeah. We had a conversation a, a few months back about signs uh, dedicated to let people know you can't spend the night at the park. Already ordered, already in place. Uh, okay, that's what I was wondering if, if all that got, got ordered already this year. Okay. Well, this, this one gets eaten up with speed limit signs that are worn out or get run over and those pedestrian crossing signs. So get wiped out every year. <laughs> Those are $300 pop. Uh, $600 pop. $600. Travel and conference. Buy a couple? Yeah, Travel and conference. We have $1,400 budgeted for this year, and that's travel to the safety conference in here times two. Two guys, good. two people. Uh, telephone, $1,500. Electricity, $10,500. Propane, $8,000. Cell phones, 700. Machinery, oh, we already talked about machinery. So we have a total of $516,850 in the streets department. Uh, last year we had talked about, there were people who were advocating for adding an employee to the street department. Uh, and I asked you to, is that, is adding an employee we added him. We added that employee after that discussion, and we have a new full time employee in the street department. He has been added, and yes, he's included in these figures to continue. We added Scott. Oh, I mean, <laughs> an employee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah. We can have a part time, that part time wants to stick around and we can have that discussion when I wake them up. Okay, good. I can't say no. What I advocated for last year was let's not go ahead and hire an individual uh, because we were combining you know, a couple different departments hoping we could increase our work, uh, our amount of people. Uh, and if that didn't work out for us, then uh, you know, we would reconsider this year. That our street department is struggling with everything that we expect them to do. And I'm still concerned that they don't have enough people. What, we, what am I missing? What we did last year was we, we had a seasonal person that we created a full time benefited position and moved him into it and we did let him go. That year, last year, we only had two seasonal. This year we added back in the third seasonal and left the full time additional position. And what I'm saying is I'm still seeing that. Well, I agree with Bob 100%. So, that's why I'm there was with those CWT workers, part. workers that we took that money and made it a permanent position. We still have to support that program. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, yeah, I know, but it's nice to have someone that we depend on year round. Yeah, and our trouble was staffing. It's finding people to fill and hold the positions that we're struggling with. So adding one of these, we need to be fully staffed. We need all of our positions filled with people that are staying in the positions. The discussion goes back to that $2 an hour increase in part time and the entry level because that's kind of what the wage market is right now. But we're going to have that discussion past all this. Um, but you know, just looking at the local market, we're preparing that too. What is our yeah. course to walk through the door? No problem. What's our entry level wage? Last one, seasonal minimum. But we have class two, which jumps Class two up. with a little experience, they, they bump up the wire, so, you know, we we can't fit the class one. But we're not 15 like they know, so we, already we got, have to compete. Yeah. We already got one person that applied for a job we didn't have out yet. So if we get quite a few that apply for a job, maybe you're We have definitely something. Talk about, and I think we came in. Yeah, I agree with Bob. Street 
be marked short. Oh, we ask it's, it's almost horrible. everything. It's horrible, and then it's going down and going up. Yes. Can I ask why you think your propane is going to go down? It's usage. It's based on usage. And we don't know. We don't think it's going to go down. But that it ain't going down. I can guarantee you that. Okay. The whole price? What you're talking price? Wise? Yeah. So I was just it's wondering why you had a thousand dollars less for this year. And we don't know what our. I do. <laughs> Job security. <laughs> well, they'll get as much propane as they need to keep the building warm. We're just estimating at this point. If any of you would like to request that number be increased, looking at the usage in the past, I'd be happy to. Yeah, but Are we letting that big tank go down so we can get tanker loads instead of just a little bit at a time? We don't know. Um, the last time we tried to do that, we couldn't get a tanker load. We had to take a smaller amount. I don't know the problems with the propane business, but that is the goal. That's why we kept that great big tank. We have to let it almost run out before we can fill it up. Oh, no. It practically has to be empty to get a whole tanker load because there's some room for expansion, you can only fill it up to 85%. So it's really oversized for the place. And it hasn't seemed to save us the money that we thought it would by keeping it and trying to fill it in full tanker loads. It runs out, then we have to rope basket propane. And this last time we couldn't get a tanker load of propane or the price because it was the, the time they needed it was like December, it was too high and it just got a little bit. So if you fix the gauge on the tank, that problem could all be solved. The gauge on the tank. The last time Nelson's did it. They didn't fix it. We got a bill for fixing the gauge. No, we, we did some work on it, but we didn't fix the gauge. What does it need? It no. needs a new gauge. A brand new gauge? Yep. What? The tank's got to go dry first. Well, yeah, I understand that part. But I mean, they what's, could, what's the game? Maybe I that's mean, why they didn't get it. They, they could set another tank there and run off of it while they were fixing the big one. That, it's not, it's not impossible. I can follow up, and I think this is the ideal time to run it dry. Bingo. And that might be what they're doing. That might be why they didn't get it. Sure. Thing. But that's basically less than you have a follow up. Yeah. You're exactly. welcome. And Summerfield would be a lot cheaper than three months. Yes. Uh, okay. So we're revisiting snow removal. That's on page 12 if we're ready to move forward. John has some updates for us from the conversations that we had on Tuesday. Correct. <coughs> um, what if, the, the, 
We have highlighted, I don't remember why, minor tools 950. Just leave that. I don't remember why we highlighted that. <coughs> Maybe because we had so much budgeted this year and have been used. Well, how we were questioning it was not. But we have 3350 this year. Used? We, but yeah, we spent 84, 30, 97, 147. Sorry, I'd like to leave that because I don't know. Uh, okay. Billy said he had that 3350 for this year on ladder tools committed, so I trust that he's got it submitted. Okay. So we now have a new updated amount for snow removal of seven thousand one hundred fifty-five dollars with those changes. Seven thousand. Did it? What did I say? Seven thousand. Seventy-one thousand five hundred fifty. Sorry. With those changes. So every little bit helps. Thank you. Thank you. Parks, page twenty-two. We're still in the general fund. Are the loving parts the beautiful parts are the same? All right, salaries and wages, $61,000. Um, this also had, has um, full-time and a uh, year-round full-time year-round part-time two part-time assist as needed shares with streets uh, estimating 61,000 payroll taxes retirement workers comp group insurance unemployment uh, South Dakota public insurance lines insurance is less for parks in the new calculation professional services they also have needs spraying from parks and green spaces green spaces in noxious uh, there's a cost increase in chemicals, so we have an increase in the request there. Uh, vehicle repairs, 1900 Maintenance items include ranger, trailer, four-wheel drive truckster, and one set of tires. Build, building repairs, 4200 That's for some dugout repairs. Vandalism at ER. Bathroom. Bathroom doors. Paint bathrooms times three. One bathroom roof 2022 question mark. Does that question mark mean it's included in here? Well, uh, he thinks it is. They can't get to it this year. He's going to try to get to it this year. That's one of those oddball things, but they don't have any help. That's what they were still hoping to, to get everything done. We don't have two people working hard right now. Yeah. 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 I know. When I see him on a lawnmower, <laughs> when I see him on a lawnmower, it tells me that they are stressed water. Well, Billy had played bathroom the other day. I just got uh, yeah. <laughs> Equipment. I'm sorry. Uh, everybody will post a 4200 for building repairs and the plans for the repairs. 3000 in equipment repairs. They maintain a lot of equipment, mowers, speed eaters, AC. Street walk repairs get fifteen thousand five hundred budgeted for twenty twenty two. That includes Freedom Trail sidewalk sections, estimating four thousand. Retaining wall of eight, not sure where. What at Rock Fall happened? Okay, retaining wall along the Freedom Trail by the waterfall. Um, Handrail <coughs> five hundred. Same thing. Where is that by the waterfall? Now it's actually underneath the viaduct.
2023. Yeah, that's seven. We couldn't afford replacing the whole set of steps. Every quote I've got on that was sixty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars. I agree with the other group that said they were going after grants with the city assisting. Um, so that's the direction we need to go for to replace the whole set. The repairs that they've done at the Invisible Church, I think they've done a really great job. We're going to get a lot of service out of that. Uh, everybody else is going to do things to repair it before the night. Or maybe it's a walk-in every day. It's still closed. Yeah, they've got another six, six steps to go. Okay, so sewer water repairs, we have 3,500. Bathroom fixture items, sprinkler repairs at Butler and Mueller Center. And I said, why the Mueller Center? Yeah, soccer field. Oh, okay. So I'll say and soccer field here. Dollars in fence tool repairs. That's just for basic routine fence maintenance only, not to replace any fences. Right. We've only spent <coughs> twenty-seven dollars ten cents on this year. Yeah, we thought we were going to spend a lot more when we replace that uh, soccer field fence. So now we're going to go and fix that fence to get to another people. So they will be using it. Okay. Supplies. We have three thousand. Um, paint, sand, paper, wood materials, steel sections, replacement for bleachers, and select tables. So they plan on replacing some tables. The reason for the increase over. Yeah, the picnic tables just it feels bad. They slowly but surely worked on those, and then the bleachers got thrown on this year went back to that SBPAA thing. And a whole brand new set of bleachers is $18,000. Yeah. We have 2,500 bucks, spent 866. We got quite a bit left from this year. We I, think there's, I think there is. I think there is actually some that's uh, just categorizing the wrong place to take on a lot of materials this year and put in those later. And they do repairs on like the picnic tables and stuff, and not cloaking the winter months. The they'll spend more of that in the winter months when they get some of those projects. Clothing, we have 600 using the same 400 for full time and 100 for part time. Uh, 2,000 for janitorial supplies, adding extra cleaning and sanitizing. Minor tools, we have 800 regular items as needed. They did note that they purchased two new weed eaters this year. Uh, agricultural supplies, which are trees, grass seeds, planting tree seeds, soccer and baseball fields, 1,500. Gas, oil, and diesel, 2,500. Uh, actual use versus budgeted use. Uh, I put those notes in there, I think, over the past five years. I'm not sure if that's enough. Um, for gas, oil, and diesel, when we needed to be okay. um, Signs, 500, that's for miscellaneous signs, including signs and limits, so after my identification. Electricity, 9,100. Improvements other than buildings, we have 18,000. Uh, not budgeted, replace softball field at Butler Park, 30 years old. Include one set of new bleachers or school street park equipment. Are the notes. I had a question. Park equipment, I'll keep replacing. Question mark for bathroom signs? <laughs> right, there you go. Or make a eight, I think they are. Are they? At the new one, my front side, it was a boy and a girl. Um, but but improvement other than the buildings, 18,000. Um, we just questions. take that number based on what we looked at. 18,000 by the instead of bleachers. Somebody donates playground equipment, but we need to replace the playground equipment. School Street is used a lot. It's very dangerous. SDPAA we take it down and completely rebuild it, we'll have money left in that budget. And I'm not familiar with the cost of the uh, 
fencing for softball field. But I am, I am aware that the softball players are willing to put in labor um, if you're going to repair that uh, number one thing about the tennis court. They're willing to do the labor. So. And, th and that may be a discussion we have as we get to next next spring, what direction we're going to go. We cannot afford to replace the chain link like we've been talking about for two years. The chain link is double the price. Not at these prices. And, and uh, they're so far behind on manufacturing on most of them. just can't do it. But I think that's a reasonable number and if we come up with a solution on the softball field fence, we'll probably be talking about that. Then we have 2200 in machinery. They just want to replace, not replace, get new two small mowers. So we have a total of 166,290 for the Parks Department. All right, we're jumping out of the general fund to the Edmonds Plunge Fund. Sportsman, um, 
actually we moved their sports and software, so that's at the bottom now. But those include all those other charges. Publishing is their advertising. They kept the amount at twenty-five thousand and noted that Southern Hills Golf Course no longer shares joint advertising opportunities. There was a time we had a super strong, our, our city administrators super strong in advertising and marketing, and they took on that responsibility for these two facilities. Um, they took that back when that it was only done because there was another person in between. They took that responsibility back. Um, when that person left the position, and so there was a time they were doing things jointly, and they just noted that they're not doing any joint advertising. Oh, it's my fault. She wanted to point that out. <laughs> but, but there's somebody in between, so it's not done. Um, building repairs and maintenance, we have 27,000. Their plans are health club, a title in the steam room, 6,000. Rear door replacement and EMA, which does that stand for emergency? Yeah. EMA access 6.5, uh, 6,500. Acrylic at observation platform instead of the chain link fence, that's at 5,500. And begin women's locker room upgrades, 9,000. Do you want to talk any more about those plans, uh, A lot of that's for shutdowns, things, the, the prison cage up there at the observation deck. A sore spot for a lot of people, so we want to replace that with acrylic. And for some reason, acrylic is really cheap this year, so we're going to get that over in 2020. I had never been in the women's locker room until we had this conversation. That place is nasty. <laughs> well, I've never been in the men's locker room. Yeah, ours isn't that bad. The women's isn't that bad. Well, as I said, it used to be when I yeah. had my kids there. <laughs> It's taking out the walls, the partition walls, so that they can clean up under those. Oh, each I see. Room. We still want separators. We yeah, really well, like they'll be separate, separate, but they want to take the block wall separators out. And, and then, and then the benches. The 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 <laughs> and the seats and the change. Yeah, area. the the benches in each um, change area, they're really rotting. Yeah, it's well, always the, the, Yeah, those were the targets. Yeah, you know. I, I hesitate to sit on because I was afraid they'd come out. We're talking about composite material for that. So do we want to move on? And there may be some areas in this budget in particular because of their estimated loss that we need to make some cuts. So do we want to stop and talk about those now or do we want to get through and go back and talk about? I'd like to get through and go back. Okay. Yeah. I say charge on. Equipment repairs. 36,000. Uh, this would be phase three of the HVAC update. Uh, ventilation to remove the heat and moisture from the ceiling space over the pool. We talked about needs and wants. John, I'll let you talk about why this is so important. Uh, looking at structurally on that building, if we don't find a way to get that heat and moisture out of there, uh, we're going to be replacing the garden on that ceiling. Everything they're going to list out. We've got a pretty good amount of money left this year. I'd like to start that project this year as soon as we get over the tourist season. So I could reduce that number a little bit. We haven't got a firm price on that. Well, there's going to be two or three units going up there. Um, so I'll do my best guess based on what we talked to the different providers. If we can get started this year, we still got about 12 to 14 thousand left for this year budget to get that project started. But that is an important project. It is critical. Kind of some that projects. was something that was noted from the city purchase. Yeah. It was and the so it's only taken us so many years to get there, but I agree. So that, that's the first step to doing the maintenance that needs to be done at home with We've got to get the moisture and heat off of them. So I'd like to charge through, but I heard you say that we could get some of that done this year and maybe decrease this amount a little bit. Ten. I, I would like to give up ten on that, and then uh, we'll commit whatever they've got left this year to start that project this year. Supplies we have fifteen thousand. Uh, yeah, we went down to twenty six. Other materials for resale, these this is merchandise to stock the gift 
shop, clothing, 2,000. This is employee uniform apparel, front desk and lifeguards and slide dispatchers, is just shirts. Uh, janitorial supplies, 10,000. Minor tools, they have 2,500. There's routine replacement of the swimsuit spinners. They're $200 each and then other minor tools. Historically, they haven't needed quite that much. Um, so Spinner for you make this year. They're cheaper to get those little cheap disposable ones than to put in a big washer dryer type. That's what they've always had, it's just a little. Yeah, because we've never had it before and we had them donated to us and then they didn't last very long and now we're replacing them, but they're nice to have and they yeah. make use quite a bit. They do. So, um, they are year to date on their minor tools, even replacing the spinners, they're at 22%. There, this may be an area we can take some off, but we'll charge on, we'll leave it highlighted. Uh, purification chemicals, we have 3,000. Additional disinfection, POS COVID, and boring for hot tubs. 60 for gas, oil, and diesel for the lawnmower. Food, that is me for concession or resale, with 18,000. Uh, signs, they would like to update some in-house signage, updated rules and directional banners. Travel and conference, they have 1,000. I remember the conversation when they were told to put uh, the travel budget in there and then increase it. They are now doing all their uh, lifeguard training in-house. We do now have four full-time employees there, though, that this travel budget is shared between. Um, and then, again, I would have looked at years past for what was made out of their uh, discussion in 2020. Uh, telephone, which includes cable, is 2400 In 2019, we renegotiated our cable uh, contract. We, uh, Sorry, I lose my words. It was an ordinance. It's for a cable franchise fee contract, um, and we're no longer paying for cable. We had a credit for a while that we used up to twenty-four hundred cover it for the year. Electricity, they're large users, so they see a large increase with the uh, notification for Black Hills Energy of an eleven percent energy increase and energy expense increase. They do the same thing, water and sewer, that all the other departments do. Nobody has a cell phone. Nothing in improvements other than buildings for 2022. We have machinery and equipment, 7,800. Plans to do replacement pressure tanks, which is four tanks in 2022. Done in 2021 in May, POS computer replacement and printer. We have 1,800. Our IT guy, Ryan, said 1,200 should do it. So we could maybe make a little decrease there. I'm not sure about the replacement pressure tanks where those tanks are at or what that's for. <coughs> They're actually located behind the wall of the gift shop and it's been a big issue this year. We had two now previously that we didn't get replaced. And we had kids that on replacing two for a year. We didn't, so we've got to replace four next year. What are they used for? Is it the HVAC system or something? No, it's, it's circulation for the bathrooms and the bathrooms have water right? so everything else has water not the pool this pool can take care of itself but keep all the rest of that water flow through the building so the pressure tanks are for the water and that's a necessity so we have about 600 feet to take out of this just because of the estimate for the replacement of the foot and it does the front sale
but their signs, the wine for this next year, 1200 they have 1500 budget for this year. They haven't spent any of it. Is there something that they're planning, or can they do that now instead of next year? I will. Can we do that this year? No. I hope they fix that sign on time. I was going to ask about the book sign, the antique book sign. Uh, Across, we were discussing getting that refurbished and put back up. Yeah, I feel pretty good myself. Mm -hmm. It's not ever, I heard that's not ever going back up. Well, so not, you're not going to work with it. Because this location was an issue of the safety, and then where else would you put it if you don't put it there? Because people stand in the middle of the road, those great big trucks come down the road, and they try to take pictures of the book. Yeah, you're talking about right. that? People stand in the middle of the road, and they try to take pictures of the book. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> well, I just didn't want your hopes to be up because I heard the sign was not going back up. It's not getting referred to not going back up. Oh, stick to the 12 point sign. What's the Does this sign discussion need to be held at Evans Plus Advisory Committee? And I removed the 1200 from here and we used the 1500 budgeted this year to get the signs? Yeah. out the entire twelve hundred dollars from science because they have fifteen hundred this year that haven't used it all. No, I am sorry. I was talking about your tool. Oh, uh, well we just took fifteen hundred more out. So right now our projected loss in that fund is two hundred and fifty four thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. And to just jump forward if I can real quick and show you what that impacts before we talk about it. Um, and we won't go through this budget yet, but our additional sales tax fund, our 212 fund, pays the subsidies, and those amounts, uh, I haven't updated this figure yet, it's a little lower now, but those impact this budget where we currently are showing a deficit of 382,000, and this is not our general fund. So in, in this fund also, we're either applying cash of 382,000, or we're making some of these cuts. So I don't want to get too much into this one yet, but I wanted you to know where that money comes from and why this conversation about Evans lunch and their required subsidies. Is so any other ideas, um, or do we want to move forward with that subsidy amount for the lunch, which would be the largest that I've been around? Not the, 
put them in pairs with the phase three. Okay. I don't see how we can take that off at all. No, that my understanding is that was like ten thousand. Can you leave the building? Well, if you have to do that to the ceiling, that's going to be expensive. Can we take nine thousand off and not begin the women's locker room updates until they see what they have for the year? I mean, that's still only nine. Or we could just move ahead with this figure and you guys can decide. <laughs> I mean, if we want to take it away off the, the shutdown money, and not touch the women's locker room, we can make that suggestion. Uh, I know that Sturgis is just now redoing theirs, their quote, redo their bathroom. $5,000. Well, that's, that is what we that. In my honest opinion, I don't see stuff going down so fast that it's going to coincide with us being able to keep that in condition. So, honestly, you might as well start the project now. Well, the seats have got to be replaced. So, we have a new subsidy amount. We have eight hundred eighty-two thousand three hundred and ten dollars um, as total expenses. And that, yeah, that that's the largest we've ever moved. Two fifty-three seven sixty, and then before we go to the next one on the list, I'm gonna go update that in the two twenty-two So the final on that one.
building repairs, they have 3,000 uh, looking for a front fence and terminal building lobby in the front fence. Some people like the old way, some people like the new way. Um, whether or not that's a need or a want, you can discuss. Equipment repair, they have 3,000. They run mowers, they need blades, and snow pile edges. So, what are the lobby improvements? Do you must have pretty in Essentially, paint the, the walls, paint the doors. Right now, they're they're stained wood and kind of nasty. So paint them hot springs blue. Change out the ceiling fan inside. Uh, replace the this, this good rail fence out front with small air. Yeah, with something that just looks a little nicer. Do they need it? Something is scattered up. It keeps the pickups off the grass. <coughs> Yeah, I like it. Okay, so we didn't drop it all. Okay. 
Okay, so just to, when I met with him, the porta potty was there. When I talked to him, it's like, okay. Um, minor tools, the note said previously I'm an end user own tools and current address none, but when you look back, we have bought some tools before. In fact, some years we bought a large amount of tools, so uh, there's got to be some there. There are some there. I hope so. There are some there, but there's just not. There's $200 budgeted on touch this year. <clears throat> what kind of tools is he looking for in his $1,000 tools? Get a he wants to get the 20 volt power tools because that don't have them out there. What do you call I, it, 20 volt power tools? Because I'm going to take those notes out of there if that's okay. So we're good on like bait and stuff like the weed eaters and stuff like that. I remember for their water. Yeah. And you said 500 Yeah, we've got 500 And then encourage him to get some things this year with his budget. I will. He would need them. Agricultural supplies, we have 1,500 feet spray, sprayer, and chemical, gas oil and diesel, that's from the snow plow, <coughs> mowers, tractor, and truck, 2,500. Signs, 5,000. I need all required regulatory signage. I have, like what? That's my question. Yeah. But when the, the inspection of the fuel terminal area is supposed to have the all the correct signage around that they on the AST tank. It's supposed to have all the safety signs on it. doesn't have any of them. Oh, okay. okay. They okay. so pointed that out. So. so we're starting from scratch on that part. So this is um, signage related to the fueling system. This is sign none. Take that out and then just leave it. Fueling system signage.
council still has to approve the new contract in the following water years. When you do, then there will be that monthly meter charge. And we're basically talking about being about 10,000 gallons, I believe, is what we said on. Yep. Uh, you get free anything over that, and you be paid at the following water users rate. So if you compare what the uh, airport uses in the winter months, there's really no reason that we should exceed 10,000 gallons a month unless we're watering the grass out front and we have to decide how important is it to have green grass out front uh, and get additional water usage. The normal needs should be able to be met by staying under the 10,000 gallons. We could always go with a dry you know, uh, grass. Right now, under the old agreement, though, there was a provision for them to charge, and they had it, and they uncovered it, and they started charging us. So even now, under the terms of the old agreement, Our 
mean, it looks like crap now. Looking back at the end of the year, it looks like crap. But, but we don't need our card reader to get wet, so we extend the heat out two feet. We should be dry when we're running the credit card through. Or maybe it won't be used. Okay. Um, machinery. Yeah. Twenty twelve. We have 12,000. Toro mower is last leg but would surrender for city match of SP DOT grant game blocks three system cost $300,000. You're going to trade out 12,000 for three hundred. That's the grant match. We, we've talked to DOT. We can't get it in 2022 anyway. In 2023, to replace the Toro mower, he needs 5,500. So we can drop that one. And we just bought a new mower. We right. got the big mower. We didn't get the small one for it. It's got the hand me down from the cemetery. But if Lori gets two, we might be able to land that. So I lowered that to 5500 and it's to replace the Toro mower. Yep. And I take the rest of the stuff out. Yep. Yeah, he lost three. You know, when you watch the news on Code of Territory News and they never give Hot Springs information, they always got all the other places because we don't have an AWAS 30. We become a National Weather Certified Place. And they lost the race. We become better. You know that other thing that lost kind of blanks in communities you don't actually get hot springs because we don't have an AWAS 30. Okay. But that's the next that's the next level. That's the next level. Once our hangers are finished, the DOT said they would fund an AWAS 3. That would be our next period. Aviation weather observation station. All right, and the last one is computer software. That's for our QT pod. That's our airport viewing station. That's software cost annually. So 139,925 is our total in the airport. Are we ready to move on? 31. You remember as we reviewed revenue, we have projected revenue for the water fund of $886,850. We'll go through the projected expenses. They total $872,175. We have a projected profit of $14,675. Well, that sounds great, but anybody who's been around for more than a couple years knows the water and wastewater has big things that happen, so we need extra money. No, nothing's cheap that happens in water and wastewater. And my suggestion on water and wastewater is we don't mess with the numbers they got. We have no clue what's going to happen with that highway project. Is that street front city hall? Will, will that be part of next year's project or the following year? When will they actually do the physical work? We won't know that until the bids are out. They could pick the start there. It's most likely they'll start about the
Uh, we have not calculated that, but really it's not going to have that big of an impact on either of these. We can update them, but neither water or wastewater has a deficit. It shouldn't be a problem. It's not changing pay or increasing wages. It's just reallocating when the employees are working based on preference. Um, payroll taxes, retirement, workers' comp, group insurance, unemployment, SDPAA. Uh, they, yeah, they saw decreases, uh, water, waste, water, both, uh, with the reallocation. Professional services, they also pay merchant processing fees for utility payments, credit collection, qualified pre-sort for the monthly uh, distribution of the utility bills. They pay the meter reader out of this fund. They pay uh, SD811. All water testing is paid out of this uh, and take Publishing at $175, they published the annual water report. In the vehicle repairs, bid $3,500. All vehicles are another year older, more maintenance, plus one set of tires. Building repairs, we have $4,000. That's to replace the skylights and doors at Evans Pump Station and the door at Cockburn Pump Station. Equipment repairs, we have $35,000. They're planning to completely overhaul the existing backhoe, including pumps, various controls, hydraulic cylinders. And here's another one where we can deduct 15,000 if a new backhoe is purchased. We have both in this budget. Uh, the backhoe is under machinery and equipment. We have $41,250. That's for a new New one. It's actually that would be the five-year lease number. The okay. six-year lease number. You and I looked at that. Is thirty-eight five. That's a five-year lease. Number. And it would be thirty-eight five. Is that what we had? We go to the six years. Thirty-eight five. Oh. So right. what? Should I change the number or not? Should I change it or not? Right, one six, which is what you put in there, and then you're saying there's five years. Yeah, there's a five year number, a six year number, and I looked at the five year number. I couldn't understand what happened to the water until you and I looked at it the other day. Okay, so the option one for the five years is 32 eight. Is that what I should put in there? Uh huh. Or should I? Because actually, this piece of paper that you gave me. What's written at the top? What's at the top point? Uh, 32764, and I would put 328. Okay. Um, but this is the department that may benefit from talking about purchasing it. So it should be 328, and it's a five year lease to own, estimating the interest, and if we bought it outright, it'd be 208000 Um, This one says selling price 181544 got a bunch of attachments that would come with it. But you didn't really want to change it. You know. Well, we added both. So we've yeah. got, we, this is where we have to, we're not adding anything. We're making a decision on are we going to change it to five years. Six years. Is that the six years? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a six year the term is 60, but the number of payments are six, but the last payment's a dollar. So I think that 36, five percent home, and I'm looking at the wrong So the backhoe, the paperwork you gave me on the backhoe in the water department has 32,764, which is the five year lease. And it has a purchase outright price with the second page added in of a hundred and eighty eight ninety four. Okay, that's correct. <coughs> that's the way. So this is not two oh eight, it should be one hundred and eighty four we'll say. Um, so it is a five year lease to own at five percent interest again that's estimated and I would put that in principal and interest expense account if we did finance it. Uh, or we could buy it outright for a hundred and eighty one thousand and then there's three thousand two hundred for some elective soil that's at Copper. So that's 
so in the water department, I guess the conversation is, do we lease, do we buy, do we even need, and then we'll go back up and address the equipment repairs if we buy it, right? Yeah. My, my argument for the backhoe is, um, you had a fire in the town, and your fire truck wasn't working, have a catastrophic failure. We had a water line break. We don't have a backhoe operating. We have a catastrophic failure. We're, we're at that point. We have to. I so far have the other day. So just clarification. Is this annual payment 38 and the next number is 3.2? But we have 32.8. Oh, and I should have added the. I'm sorry. I might mess up. You're, it's 32.8. He had looked at the seven year and that or the six year and that was twenty eight and I think it was thirty eight. So that was a typo. Okay. Okay. But I also this thirty two eight is not gonna be enough because there's some electrical maintenance at hot room that we'd have to add to this. Um, and what did I say that was three thousand two hundred so we'll add that. We're at even thirty six then if we decide that leasing it is what we want to do. Yeah, 1,000 in street walk repairs. That's to repair the steps 
and sidewalk landing at Evans Pump Station. We have 40,000 for sewer slash water repairs. That's really just emergency costs and standby materials associated with water line breaks, water delivery system component failures, and it's an annual estimate. If we have to go over, we'll have to appropriate. Why is the sewer in the it's yeah, it's the <laughs> title of the object code. Uh, Five hundred dollars for supplies. Heavy market paint, wasp killer, clothing, twelve hundred. <laughs> Are you out there when they got attacked? Um, minor tools, thirty-five hundred. New chop saw blades, valve keys, batteries, etc. Purification chemicals, thirteen. 1,200. Gas oil and diesel is 7,000. Um, they are only 40% of the budget year to date, so that should work for them. Travel and conference, they have 1,500. They have new employees as well. They need to attend classroom training for certification advancements. Uh, we have telephone, 500. In the future, they may add a monitoring system. We have upgrade call notification system relay for equipment outages. Electricity, large electricity user, pumps take a lot of electricity, 63,150. Cell phone, 1325. Improvements other than buildings, I believe this is our third year, second or third year of purchasing 400 meters at $150 each. Um, we'll do that. We did it in 2021. We'll do it in 2020. And then the plan or hope is to upgrade uh, to uh, radio read meters. The towers are expensive, and that's something we talked about in 2024 after the growth project. Machinery and equipment, we already talked about. Computer software, they have foreign main FlexNet support, they have 50% of the utility building software, and 30% of the sales software. They have debt, they have an SRF loan. Um, which includes 2011 Albany Avenue water main replacement, Troy Avenue water main, and 6th Street water main replacements, the annual payment on that, and the, print, or the interest payments are listed, and they have transfers out, uh, 125000 to the 101 budgeted, and then the internal utility use forgiven, that's unbudgeted, so we know what the amount of use that given here. So we now have a new total for the water fund of 
sorry, I, 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 sure. I just asked him a question. The old backhoe, they said we'd have to rebuild. I just asked him what was happening to the, if the waste plugger had a backhoe, and he says, no, they're getting the old backhoe. So we're going to have to rebuild it anyway? We took 15000 out. We've already got the money in there with that 20000 that's been getting up to the we got to have one backup back there. we got the good one down, yeah. and then we just got to, so everybody uses them all. You can't yeah. say it's the water department, you can't say it's the sewer department, because whoever needs it, that's where it goes. But we do have to define where it is right. housed somewhere for our asset listing for our so Where it's so, going to come out of. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, even the golf course uses our backup. Whoever needs it, needs it. So, uh, 132 for wastewater. They did move um, a high pay, long time employee. And so, if you see a decrease, it's not that we decrease anybody's wages. It's that we have a long time to find an employee for that. Uh, all the payroll taxes, retirement, workers' compensation, group insurance, unemployment, the SDPAA decreased for this month as well. Professional services, they pay for standard testing and engineering services. We did remove 900 to put it below the computer software. Um, and they have, they often need help addressing equipment maintenance and troubleshooting, and that's all for us. Vehicle repairs, 2,000. Building repairs, 19.5. The wet well area floor needs repaired. They're looking at uh, three new garage doors, two with openers, one without. HVAC overhaul, replace office and lab. And There's no heat or air in the office. What? There's no heat or air in the office. Oh, HVAC overhaul, replace office and lab, all goes together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that equals 16.5. They have 19.5, but like I mentioned, there are some other uh, building repairs that might be needed. So, no. I, go ahead. All the electrical that is coming up on that, all that stuff. We, we did the major electrical stuff, but every time we fix another component, we're getting Flint out there to go in and wire on that one. And we just did the grinder pump this week, put new wiring in a, a real corrosive, toxic environment out there that needs oh, everything. Yeah, you can tell that when you're walking the door. We went up, so is that, that extra three, is that going to go? Now we have equipment repairs, 15,000. That's repairs and maintenance to the jet truck ceiling system or tank replacement or used jet truck replacement. Yeah, we go the used route. That, that is something we're going to talk about next year. Is a big How old is our jet truck? I, I can try to pull it up. I we feel like it starts with the 2000, though, which is pretty good for the some tank, of our equipment. The tank rocks out on it real fast, and that's the big issue with it. Seals, they've had it resealed last year, and it's not on the seal this year. It's a constant issue. Here we have sewer slash water repairs, more sewer focus, 35,000 significant system component repair, replacement, preventative maintenance, and basic materials valve blocks, I think 35,000. One question. The work that we've done down there, how much is that addressed? Odor Once the lead goes on the digester, cut that odor down by 75%. Is there anything else we need to be budgeting for to address future issues? The next option would be to flare it. We'll have to test it a year before we flare it because we have to get permission from the DAR to start so that process. Nothing in the 2022 budget that we ought to be looking at. So we, I'll have you answer it before we talk through that. Supplies, just often office items and safety, 1,000. Clothing, 1,200. Janitorial supplies, 800. They are doing more thorough, aggressive cleaning. Uh, 2,500 <laughs> in minor tools. Purification chemicals of 9,000, 2,200 for gas, oil, and diesel, 600 for signs. They're looking to replace faded and missing safety warning signs. Travel and conference, again, new employees, a little bit of an increase, but they will need certification and 
classroom training for new employees. Telephone, 1300. Electricity, 22,200. Propane, 15,000. Cell phone, 1,000. Machinery, we have 35,000 for a skid steer and sledge trailer. Yep. That's a used skid steer for the DOT surplus fleet weight management program. And for computer software, they pay the other 50% of the utility billing software, one third of the point of sale software. They have debt. Um, they have a state revolving fund loan, principal and interest payments for the year there. They also have a budgeted subsidy or transfer out to the general fund. And 591,500 is the total for the waste water fund. My speed stage for the city only 40 there. We've only six, not very five years The one that's kept in the right water plant is so rusted out, I don't know how. The owner's still good. It'll start. You raise the mud up and it falls over the yep. it's, uh, it's been used, slightly scratched. The sledge, the sledge trailer, the sledge is coming out the bottom of it. Yeah, I was there three years ago. So we are going to um, get the 211 fund, which is liquor lodging and dining sales tax fund, uh, page 27 real quick. I do think we should get through the golf course and the pro shop before we tackle 212 since the subsidy is in there. And uh, we can talk about whether that's tonight or another time. After we get through 211, if you've got one, to show us the website stuff tonight. Okay, uh, 27. So this is our, this is the fund of many names. ETB, MRTC, LLD, Triple Penny, your name. Um, for expenses in this fund, there's really not a lot of room uh, because 80% right away goes to the chamber. You remember our projected revenue was 140000 Currently, our projected expenses exceed revenue by $3,225. There is cash that can be applied to this fund. Um, Based on our revenue projection, we come up with the other current expense total of 112,000, which is the 80% to the chamber. Unless you change that, you're not going to make any changes there. With the increase in the electricity, we have 30,000. Uh, we have 725 for telephone, and we have building repairs of 500. It says roof repairs needed at depot. I'm not sure if that's enough. What was it? 500. What's budgeted? I didn't see a lot of notes, huh? That reasonably twelve thousand five hundred, so that was a five hundred dollar deductible for the hail damage. Okay. So is everybody happy with that one? Standing room for changes? There's really not a lot they can change there. Oh, you're dropping. Should we start at six? How long are you? Six, 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 six
Okay, we're That's back the on. Our readers get fed all the time. Okay. So we're going to keep doing that to your feet. I'm going to keep doing that for about a thousand bucks. I don't know. 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 All right. Back on and ready. And the next one on our list is the water department or fund. We didn't finish this one. Did we finish this one? Airport? No. No. We're building. <laughs> we're in building. Already, yeah, you said already negotiated that one. So we're going to increase building to twenty-five thousand. You were. I don't know. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 All right. Sorry, I tried to jump ahead. Uh, I got some good news for you on this one too. Uh, yeah, we were all the way down to water, weren't we? Yeah, we got past water. We're all building now. Okay. Five thirty-two. Cell phone, we didn't talk about new in 2021, airport manager smartphones, we can monitor the camera system, started the conversation about cell phones, got a new phone, got it set up today. No, the phones are free, that's for the service. Um, building, yeah, the monthly fee is the most, and it's a smartphone so that you can have the out by app and view the camera so you can't have a dumb phone. Uh, we're at buildings, 5,000. Fueling shelter and AST improvements per FAA and DANR. Can we talked about that during the break. Uh, come up with a, a possible solution to that. We're going to drop that to 1,000. It looks like 4,000 there. And what's our solution and what are the improvements? We're going to extend the roof line out because what's happening is our, I mean, it looks like crap now. We can make it another year looking like crap, but you know, we don't need our car reader will get wet so we extend the heat out two feet we should be dry when we're running the credit card through or maybe it won't be used okay um, machinery we have 12,000 Toro mower is last led but would surrender for city match of SD DOT grant AWAS 3 system cost $300,000 you're going to trade out 12,000 for grant that's the grant match we, we talked to DOT, we can't get it in 2022 anyway, in 2023 to replace the Toro mower in the 5500 so we can drop that one. And we just bought a new mower. We right? got the big mower. We didn't get the small one. It's got the hand me down from the cemetery. But if Lori gets two, we might be able to land that. So I lowered that to 5500 and it's to replace the Toro mower. Yep. And I take the rest of the stuff out. Yeah, you watch three is, you know, when you watch the news on Code of Territory News and they never give Hot Springs information, they always got all the other places because we don't have an AWAS 3. We become a national weather certified place when we have AWAS 3. So we become a weather You know, the other thing we get complaints in communities you don't actually get the Hot Springs because we don't have an AWAS 3. But that's the next, that's the next level 
Well, that's the next level. <clears throat> Once our hangers are finished, the DOT said they would fund an AWAS 3 for this. So that would be our next area. What are AWAS? AWAS? Aviation Weather Observation Station. All right, and the last one is computer software. That's for our QT pod. That's our airport viewing station. That's software cost annually. So 139,925 is our total in the airport. Are we ready to move on? 139,925. <coughs> now we can go water fund. We're out of the general fund. This is an enterprise fund. Um, this is on page 31. You remember as we reviewed revenue, we have projected revenue for the water fund of $886,850. We'll go through the projected expenses. They total $872,175. We have a projected profit of $14,675. Well, that sounds great, but anybody who's been around for more than a couple of years knows the water and wastewater has big things that happen, so we need the extra money in the bank. You know, nothing's cheap that happens in water and wastewater. And my suggestion on water and wastewater, if we don't mess with the numbers they got, we have no clue what's going to happen with that highway front. Is that street front city hall? Will, will that be part of next year's project or the following? actually do the physical work we won't know that until the bids are out. They could pick the start there. It's most likely they'll start at top of the other. But they'll still be the utility is going to be there in front of the world. Yeah. And that's <coughs> what the DOT has said they don't require they don't tell the contractor where to start and where to go at. So it's entirely up to the contractor to decide where he's going to be maybe in three different parts of town at the same time. <coughs> The contracts are more than the contract and says there's no way to do it. But the water and sewer less the state isn't doing that, we do it, right? Right, but it will be in conjunction with the high yeah. state tomorrow. But is that going to be a contract or doing that or the city? Contract. Contract. I'll have to be done before they do, so that might have to be done next year. I think you're going to do that the following year. Yeah. All right. So in the water fund, we have calculated two hundred twenty thousand for salaries and wages. Not calculated is a two dollar an hour wage increase for entry level maintenance workers. Also, we had a request to just move around a couple existing employees um, instead of sharing to put them in the department they specialize in and we will have three and three uh, we have not calculated that but really it's not going to have that big of an impact on either of these we can update them but neither water or wastewater has a deficit it shouldn't be a problem it's not changing pay or increasing wages it's just reallocating when the employees are working based on preference Payroll taxes, retirement, workers' comp, group insurance, unemployment, SDPAA. They, yeah, they saw decreases. Uh, water and water both out with the reallocation. Professional services, they also pay merchant processing fees for utility payments, credit collection, qualified pre sort for the monthly uh, distribution of the utility bills. They pay the meter reader out of this fund. They pay uh, SD811. All water testing is paid out of this um, and tank cleaning. So they have $37,000. Publishing, they have $175. They publish the annual water report. In vehicle repairs, we have $3,500. All vehicles are another year older, more maintenance, plus one set of tires. Building repairs, we have $4,000. That's to replace the skylights and doors at Evans Pump Station and the door at Cockroach Pump Station. Equipment repairs, we have 
they're planning to completely overhaul the existing backhoe, including pumps, very simple hydraulic cylinders. And here's another one where we can deduct 15,000 if a new backhoe is purchased. We have both in this budget. Uh, the backhoe is under machinery and equipment. We have $41,250. That's for a new New one. It's actually that would be the five-year lease number. The okay. six-year lease number you and I looked at that is thirty-eight five. That's a five-year lease number. And it would be thirty-eight five. Is that what we had? We go to the six years thirty-eight five. Oh. So what? Should I change I the number or not? Should I change it or not? Sure. Right, one six, which is what you put in there, and then you're saying there's five years. Yeah, there's a five year number, a six year number, and I looked at the five year number. I couldn't understand why I was doing the letter until you and I looked at it. Okay. Yeah, there's a five year number. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
I know they need a new backhoe. They're old, but I got two backhoes old when I used to run years ago. And you can have it back. They say you can have it. Well, the problem. No, no. That's a good operating by the way. So if we do that, if, if we lease a backhoe or buy, then John's notes say we can deduct 15000 from the equipment. Correct. So it sounds like we all agree we need a new backhoe. How we're going to pay for that? Is everybody comfortable pursuing a lease and adding to the city debt loan? Or would you be interested in pursuing a purchase of that piece of equipment and using um, available fund balance. That's the available fund balance for the uh, enterprise fund for the bar funds. Correct. What's the new one cost? Um, the bid on here is for $180,894 and that's a big job inclusive. It's the, all the we got a big government discount on the equipment. So we would be taking $181,000 Well, it wouldn't be $181,000 totally because you have a little, you have thirty four thousand left over. So, and your, you have water funds in several different cash accounts. And the general fund, you can, this is just the day I printed this you have 329000 In the Bank of the West, where we set aside some of the money for the improvements, we have 661 So in the water fund, you have almost $90. That's like one But we don't have any of the utility projects. Right, yeah. Utility projects. All right. And to be honest, that's what we're going to need this so we're not doing that, we're, we're contracting it, but we're paying for it. We're, we're, we're paying overages on materials if it's not covered by the grant. So. Are we doing work up at school or is that hired out too? Uh, that, that would be so and that's supposed to be next year. So I, I would say do the lease this year and we discuss it again next year and we, everything we'll what's rosy will pay it off. That's my suggestion. I can live with that. I, I agree. Okay. So I will be moving that expense estimate to the principal and interest, um, but we'll go back through the rest of these. Now that we Other than buildings, I believe this is our 
third year, second or third year, up to purchase the 400 meters at $150 each. Um, we'll do that. We did it in 2021, we'll do it in 2022, we'll do it in 2023, and then the plan or hope is to upgrade uh, to uh, radio read meters that towers are expensive, and that's something we talked about in 2024 after the growth project. Machinery and equipment, I already talked about. Computer software, they have core and main FlexNet support. They have 50% of the utility billing software and 30 percent sales software. They have debt, they have an SRF loan, um, which includes 2011 Albany Avenue water main replacement, Troy Avenue water main, and Sixth Street water main replacements, the annual payment on that, and the, print, or the interest payments are listed. And they have transfers out, uh, 125000 to the 101 budgeted, and then the internal utility use forgiven as unbudgeted, so we know what the amount of use that they have here. So we now have a new total for the water fund of 851925 And we move to the wastewater fund, page 33.
building repairs 19.5. The wet well area floor needs repaired. They're looking at uh, three new garage doors, two with openers, one without. HVAC overhaul, replace office and lab. And There's no heat or air in the office. What? There's no heat or air in there. Oh, HVAC overhaul, replace office and lab, all goes together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that equals 16.5. They have 19.5, but like I mentioned, there are some other uh, building repairs that might be needed. So, well, I, go ahead. All the electrical that is coming up on that, all that stuff. We, we did the major electrical stuff, but every time we fix another component, we're getting Clint out there to go in and wire that one. And we just did the grinder pump this week, put new wiring in a, a real corrosive, toxic environment out there. That needs oh, yeah, you can tell that we walk in the But um, so is that that extra three? Is that going to go? Now we have equipment repairs, 15,000. That's repairs and maintenance to the jet truck ceiling system or tank replacement or used jet truck replacement. Yeah, we got the used route. That, that is something we want to talk about next year. It's a big item. How old is our jet truck? I don't know. I can ask that question. I, I can probably pull it up. I we feel like it starts with the 2000, though, which is pretty good for the some tank, of our The tank rocks out on it real fast, and that's the big issue. Seals. They've had it resealed last year, and it's not on the seal this year. It's a constant issue. Here we have sewer slash water repairs, more sewer focus, 35,000 significant system component repair, replacement preventative maintenance, and basic materials valve blocks, I think, 35,000. Excuse me, one question. The work that we've done down there, how much is that addressed? Odor Once the lead goes on the digester, we'll cut that odor down by 75%. Is there anything else we need to be budgeting for to address these issues? The next option would be to flare it. We'll have to test it a year before we flare it. We have to get permission from the DAR to start so that process. Nothing in the 2022 budget that we ought to be looking at. I'll have you an answer in 2023. Supplies, just often office items and safety, 1,000. Clothing, 1,200. Janitorial supplies, 800. They are doing more thorough, aggressive cleaning. Uh, 2,500 <laughs> 2, in minor tools. Purification chemicals of 9,000, 2,200 for gas, oil, and diesel, 600 for signs. They're looking to replace faded and missing safety warning signs. Travel and conference, again, new employees, a little bit of an increase, but they will need certification in classroom training for new employees. Telephone, 1,300. Electricity, 22,200. Propane, 15,000. Cell phone, 1,000. Machinery, we have 35,000 for a skid steer and sledge trailer. Yep. That's a used skid steer for the DOT's uh, surplus fleet weight management program. And for computer software, they pay the other 50% of the utility billing software, one third of the point of sale software. They have debt. Have a state revolving fund loan, principal and interest payments for the year there. They also have a budgeted subsidy or transfer out to the general fund, and 591500 is the total for the waste fund. My speed stage for the city order, 40 there. We only six.
So we are going to um, give the 211 fund, which is Lender Lodging and Dining Sales Tax Fund, uh, page 27 real quick. I do think we should get through the golf course and the pro shop before we tackle 212 since the subsidy is in there. And uh, we can talk about whether that's tonight or another time. After we get through 211, it's a good job to show us the website and stuff. Uh, 27. So this is our, this is the fund of many names, ATB, MRGC, LLD, Triple Penny, your name. Um, for expenses in this fund, there's really not a lot of room uh, because 80% right away goes to the chamber. You remember our projected revenue was 140000 Currently our projected expenses exceed revenue by $3,225. There is cash that can be applied to this fund. Um, I don't have that balance right now. I mean, but there is cash that can be applied to cover that if you don't make any cuts. Based on our revenue projection, we come up with the other current expense total of $112,000, which is the 80% to the chamber. Unless you change that, you're not going to make any changes there. With the increase to the electricity, we have 30000 uh, We have 725 for telephone, and we have building repairs of 500 It says roof repairs needed at Depot. I'm not sure if that's enough. What was it? 500 is what's budgeted. I didn't see a lot of notes on it. Okay. So recently, 12500 so that was the $500 done for the hail day. Okay. So is everybody happy with that one? Standing room for changes? There's really not a lot that can change there. Oh, you're dropping. Yes. <laughs> 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 you can hear the crickets. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second or maybe the last one. Yeah. Uh, the things we still have to cover are the golf course, which has two departments, the golf course and the pro shop, the police, ACO, and the 212. All of those will be difficult. We can continue if that's what you want, or we can give Bob his 10 to 15 minutes to review the uh, website and then schedule a third budget here tonight. I will say Friday's not good, right Larry? And Monday we have a council meeting, so I prefer not to do Tuesday. But Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday next week would be a great time to do this and still give us enough time. Wednesday? Sounds like Wednesday. Going once? Yeah, I can't do Wednesday. I can do Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday? The story for Wednesday. Wednesday. Should we start at 6? How long are you that's, has anybody got a problem doing that on Wednesday? Um, Deb was just mentioning. Oh. That's fine. So if we can start at 6 I don't know that we're going to need four hours to get to Maybe we will. I don't know. <laughs> What's the consensus of people? That's all the night job. Well, I, I may have to clarify that. I, I'm supposed to be flying on Thursday, but I don't know what she does. Tuesday? Tuesday's fine. 